Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is George Schlackick. The one and only. <laughs> yeah. Some time ago I crashed this little devil into a tree. It was a really bad day. Well, I I found uh, I found the Mavis, but I think we got a big problem here. Yeah, the gimbal is torn right off. I had no experience fixing drones and no budget to send it out for repair. Thanks to a number of different YouTube videos, I was able to figure out how to replace the ribbon cable for the gimbal myself. But it was hard and nerve-wracking. And yeah, here I am removing the backing for the long piece of the cable that goes on the housing of the drone on the inside. And there I'm putting it back into place with the tweezers. Well, this is kind of stubborn too. A second look revealed that there are two little slots, one on each side that this slides into. And in the end, I put it back with my finger. Can you imagine how excited I was when the drone actually functioned like normal after completing that repair? Thankfully, the entire process is recorded in this video, so you can use it to repair your drone in case you crash it. That seems to happen to some people almost every single day, especially on weekends. I can tell by simply looking at how many people watched my video. As mentioned, I didn't have any experience repairing drones when I made that video. Basically, I was just recording the steps it took me to get it done. YouTube is awesome because you guys have given me feedback about your own repair experiences. It allows me to update some aspects of the original video. Here's an important one. The GPS module sits on four rubber mounts. The cable is also plugged in at the bottom of this module which is the GPS module, and it is mounted only on rubber mounts that are really easy to remove. I used my little screwdriver and just pushed them right through. They're easy to remove, but it took me over an hour to put them back properly, and it had me sweating because it's extremely difficult to position those tiny rubbers just so. Next step, putting the GPS module back on its rubber mounts. And this turned out to be one of the toughest things to do. In the end, I used a toothpick to apply just a tiny amount of soapy water to these rubber mounts because they're stubborn. But be careful, water and electronics definitely don't mix. So this has to be just a tiny dab. The GPS module is crucial for the positioning of your drone. So it needs to be mounted just right. Instead of unseating those rubbers like I did in my video, simply remove the entire assembly. I haven't had to do this again myself, but several viewers, just like you, have told me about it in the comments. Thank you for that once again. Another thing that could be important is the heat sink compound. The blue stuff that's inside the drone. Make sure it's at least intact. If you've lost any of it, get a tube and apply some more. This stuff disperses the heat your drone generates, which could be crucial. Another problem that seems to come up from time to time is that someone replaces the ribbon cable and when it's all done, the drone will not function properly. There are some error codes coming up regarding the gimbal. Make sure you order a brand new ribbon cable, not a used one from eBay. It's also a good idea to replace the rubber mounts for the gimbal because it's easy and they're cheap. 
Your old ones may have stretched or softened, if they're even there. Now to the rubber mounts. See, the new ones, they have some tabs on there that you can pull on with your tweezers. That's a nice feature because it makes the job much easier. To help you find the parts, I put some links in the description. Yes, as an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission. It's only a few cents, but I appreciate it anyways if you use my links. Happy flying! Click the like button and watch the original video so you know what you can do if this ever happens to you. All the best! Thank you.